I was pretty much ready to go commit a murder. She must eat. She must eat. Hi, I'm Poet and Writer Case Spivey. So, you know whose videos I've been really enjoying on AuthorTube recently? Kate Kavanaugh. If you haven't watched Kate's videos, then you're really late to the party because everybody's watching her videos because she has this really great series where she takes famous writers writing routines such as like she's got Stephen King, she's got JK Rowling, she has Nora Roberts, Haruki Murakami. She follows their writing routine for a day which is a great idea. And so I was thinking to myself, how can I profit from Kate's brilliant idea? No. <laughs> I was thinking, you know who has a really great writing routine that is totally different from my writing routine? Kate Kavanaugh! Today, or really tomorrow, I'm gonna look up everything today and we're gonna start tomorrow morning because she always starts in the morning and does it for an entire day. So I'm gonna look up her writing routine and we're gonna spend tomorrow writing like Kate. Luckily, she has a video that is just titled... Okay. my writing routine so we're gonna watch that one. Oh, my screen is doing some fun things to the camera i'm so sorry oh ads oh no i've got my notepad i'm ready to take notes <laughs> Okay, the first thing is she always wakes up between 6 and 7 a.m. Okay, already I am sensing an issue and that is going to be that Kate writes first and then has her coffee. I can't function at all until I've had my coffee in the morning, so that is going to be a problem. <laughs> but I'm going to try and write. She said she usually writes about 40 minutes and then has her coffee. I'm going to try and write for as long as I can with no coffee. How do you people not just wake up and eat and have coffee? Like, that's the first thing I want when I roll out of bed. Okay, so we've learned a couple things and I've made a list of all the things so that I can write like Kate. She wakes up between 6 and 7 a.m., which I'll do my best. I'm gonna try and wake up by 7. I'm not gonna try and wake up before then. Usually I'm more like 7 to 8, but I'll try and wake up early tomorrow so I can be just more like Kate. And she'll brush her teeth and she'll take out the dog. I'm gonna be feeding the cats during that time. Okay, so next thing, then she turns on her computer. Uh, she works on multiple projects at once, which is totally different for me. I tend to work on one project at a time. Same project for five years, but <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I have a couple things I wanna work on tomorrow. I'd like to write two blog posts because I've been neglecting my blog like nobody's business and I want to work on maybe two different short stories. I've been working on one that is kind of coming together and we'll see about a second one. So I'm going to try and jump around projects the way that she does. Uh, so she writes about 40 minutes and then makes her coffee. Ugh, Kate, this is a terrible plan. So after she's got her coffee, she'll write for about an hour or two and then have breakfast. <sighs> uh, I'm hungry as soon as I get up, but not Kate, so... I may be really cranky tomorrow morning. It may be pretty bad until I have had my breakfast, but I'm gonna do my best. And while she's eating breakfast, she watches YouTube, which awesome, I do the same. Okay, once she's done with breakfast, she goes back to writing for a little bit, jumps around on projects, kind of takes it easy, and then she seems to try and exercise kind of midday and then shower afterwards. Um, she says when she's exercising, she tends to, wow, my lighting is going all kinds of ways. Well, it is late, so. While she's exercising, she tends to listen to music to help inspire her, which is really cool. I might try and do that. I haven't been listening to a ton of music lately. In the afternoons, it seems like she, if she's going out, then she goes and writes in a coffee shop for a little bit. So I may try and do that. I think I may combine things a little bit. I might just go for a really long walk and then wind up at the walk up, walk up walk up to it's like a drive through starbucks where there's a walk up area and then she has lunch after all of that she has like a late lunch girl 
prioritize some food here. <laughs> am I just hungry all the time? Like, yes, I am. Uh, in the afternoon after lunch, it looks like she switches over to kind of author tube things and she does some video editing. She does a lot of uh, either joining in on or being a part of live streams that's around my dinner time. She didn't even say when she actually eats dinner. Kate, you eat dinner, right? I'll be eating dinner around that time because she didn't actually mention. Her videos tend to end a little bit sooner, so she must eat. She must eat. She must eat. So she says she goes to bed between 9 and 10 and sometimes she just reads or just goes to sleep. I like reading in bed, so I'll probably try and do about the same thing tomorrow, especially since I'll have work the next day. Her aim is usually to write roughly around 5 hours just writing, usually a little bit more if she can, and to do at least two hours of author tube, which makes a lot of sense, and I'm gonna try and do the same. Two things I'll need to keep in mind is to keep track of word counts, because she definitely keeps track of her word counts and her times, and then to just kind of keep it chill. She doesn't really have like a strict routine. I'm really excited for this. I hope it's gonna not be awful with all the having breakfast like two hours after you've been awake and coffee after writing. I don't know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a separate document that's just like, I want coffee, I want coffee, I want coffee. We'll see how I do. See you back here tomorrow morning. Guess who forgot to set the alarm? This challenge is already off to a great start. Okay, teeth are brushed, cats are fed, and I've turned on my computer, so now it looks like it's time to write before I can have my coffee. I woke up hungry this morning, so I don't know if I'm going to be waiting for breakfast. I think I'm going to be having breakfast a little bit before when Kate normally does. I've only been writing about 20 minutes. I'm so hungry. How do you guys not just wake up and eat breakfast? I don't understand it. Does no one else just like love breakfast so much? So I'm not focusing on this story really well. And I don't think I'm gonna just jump to a different one like Kate does. I think I'm gonna get the coffee now and then work for a little bit longer and then I'll I'll have breakfast after the coffee is done. We'll see how it goes. Now, I don't have a fancy cappuccino machine like Kate has. I have a Chemex, so my coffee's coming out of a Chemex. Oh yes, <laughs> to any of those of you who saw this cup under here and thought this was me cheating, this is my teacup from last night. I just left it here because I'm a trash goblin. But, coffee on to the Mr. Coffee. I'm gonna switch projects the way that Kate does. I'm gonna try and write at least another half hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so much more productive once my brain is actually working. I guess that's one part of the thing that's not gonna work as well for me as it does for Kate is that I've got to eat. I don't do anything before I've eaten and had my coffee. That's probably gonna be one of the main differences, but I'm still gonna try and get the same amount of work done that she does. Oh, Pi is here now. Yes, yes. See the camera? See what I can get now that I've got some coffee in my system. Also, do you guys like my my MacGyvered setup here? This isn't how it used to look. This used to be a drawer. I took it apart and made it so I have a more ergonomical situation because I've been going to hand therapy, which once I'm all done, maybe I'll do a video about hand therapy and how that's been going. But time to write. All right, Pi. No kitties on laps while writing. Sorry. morning sunlight situation is just all over the place. I just finished a blog post, which I wanted to do two of those today, 
I also need to accomplish, I'll just go over what I'm accomplishing. Let me just drink coffee while I'm doing this. Do, do, do. I think I probably mentioned. So I'm going to work a little bit on some short stories that I want to get done. I might do a little bit of planning for the story I want to do for NaNoWriMo, which just feels like it's too early. It's September and yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot, but I don't want to burn out on this story before November even gets here. So we'll see. I also need to finish going through and editing my poetry book Fragments because I'm doing a re-release with a new cover and I think I'm going to put a couple new poems in it but I need to go through the entire thing make sure there were no errors I mean it was two years ago when I published it so I was a different person I might want to change a few things up so since I'm re-releasing the cover anyway I might as well go through and make it nice again I've also learned a few things about formatting the formatting was not like perfect like the ebook version formatting got a little cringe because it was really hard to do back then but I heard that KDP is a little bit easier now to format. Oh, we're gonna find out. Look at my mug. This is the funniest mug. I already feel like one of the things that doing this method is making me do is finish some of the short projects that I just haven't gotten done. Like I already finished one blog post and I haven't posted a blog post in like minimum two months. Minimum two months. I already finished one. I'm gonna try and get at least one more done today. I also had <laughs> a little Good Omens fanfic that I had written and I never got around to finishing and putting up. So I'm gonna post a fanfic today, guys. I'm gonna be all over the posting. But yeah, cause I feel like if I get these short projects out of the way, it might open up some brain space to work on some of my longer projects. I'm struggling to see why I didn't post this fanfic back the first time I watched Good Omens. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty cute and doesn't need a lot of revision. Like, why haven't I been posting things? Kate Kavanaugh, thank you. This has really made me accomplish a lot in the, like, 52 minutes I've been up and writing this morning. <laughs> Maybe I should... I, I see now why she does these things. Like, trying to write in someone else's routine just, like, refocuses you completely. This is a great idea. <laughs> Go watch all of her videos where she does famous writers routines, by the way. Have I not mentioned that yet? Because it's fantastic. Onward, I'm gonna get this posted and as soon as it is posted on AO3, well I'm gonna finish reading and revising it, but I'm gonna post it on AO3 and then I get to have breakfast. Dun da da da! Okay, it's finally time to eat. <gasps> I'm so hungry. Hi, Pi. Hi, Zuko. What are you guys up to? Just enjoying the sunshine? Breakfast champions right here. And a banana. Now, Kate likes to catch up on YouTube while she's eating, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I won't film for a little bit and then I'll get back into writing once I'm done. Okay, it's time to get back to writing now. I only watched one vi video. I watched Marissa Mohi's latest video, but I saw that there are two more that I'm gonna have to watch. They're just long. Jenna Marbles posted and then Bon Appetit posted another video of Claire's. Where she's making gourmet M&Ms. So I'll be watching that later. But for now, I'm going to work on revising the short story. Everything else has been going so well with things that I just wrote and then left and never finished. So I'm gonna go through this short story and do some revisions on that and see if that's ready to maybe go somewhere. Like I might find a beta reader for it, send it to my critique partner or something and see if it's actually as ready as I think it is, depending upon how this goes. But everything else has been going so well. I already got a comment on the AO3 thick, like it does help if you're posting kind of short content in really popular fandoms, but it's so sweet that I already got a comment. It was a really nice one. Yeah, it's only like a thousand word fic, but I'm glad that I finally got it up. Like that little ego boost. I should have done this ages ago. I've been getting comments for like months now. The solar punk story is kind of cute. Just on the first page, I went really heavy on the like whole aesthetic thing with solar punk. But then even after that, it's just a really cute story. I'm so glad that I wrote it. This is another one where like I just bagged it because I've been working so hard on circuit for so long. 
I think this is a really good exercise for me. Like, I need to do this more often where I jump between projects because I feel like I'm just like accomplishing, 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 which is just feeling so good. Usually I feel like I'm slog, slog, slogging through the same project, which I am, and I feel like that's important too. But then I don't get to do some of these little passion projects or little fun things as much and I end up never getting them done. Like months later, these things aren't done. But if I just, like even once a week, tried Kate's method of just jumping around and like making myself jump around, I feel like I'd get so much done. It has just occurred to me with all this editing work I've been doing, the actual words I have actually written is probably like, a hundred or less and usually Kate keeps track of her word count so once I finish this editing project I'm going to do some more writing things so I can try and get a good word count because I know she usually tries to get somewhere in the range of like 2,000 words a day so I need to get somewhere in the range of 2,000 words a day okay I'm gonna admit I was just back on YouTube again so I think my brain is kind of fluttering away. Kate tends to do some kind of exercise. It is supposed to be pretty nice all day today. Where's my, where's my phone? Let's check out what the frog is doing. Oh yeah, see the frog is flying a kite. This is the best app. This is so cute. Oh, there's a glare. I don't know if you can see the frog. But anyway, he's flying a kite. So it should be nice all day today, but it's gonna get kind of hot later. I am going to do my exercise portion of the day now. Go for a walk, get some fresh air, and then I'll come back and work on some more writing in the afternoon after I'm nice and clean after my walk around. So let's go do that. Okay, with the medication I'm on, the doctor warned me that I need to be careful with sun exposures. I've got my hat, all sun blocked up, time to go for a walk. Of course, taking a walk is just an excuse to play Pokemon Go. There she is. Whoa. Other than coming here for the Pokemon gym, because there's a stop and a gym right here, I really like coming to this spot for this view. Oh my gosh, I don't know if the camera captures it, but dang, the mountain is beautiful today. I'm gonna zoom in, here you go. Whoa. Just that right there to me makes the whole walk up here worth it completely. Alright, I'm gonna sit for a little bit, probably try and take some Instagram photos of the beautiful mountain and then I'm gonna head back. Alright, I'm back from my walk and I am showered. The walk was in total about two and a quarter miles. I caught lots of Pokemon. I put some Pokemon in some gyms, which I haven't done in a while, so that's good. I'm gonna get some more coffee. I know Kate likes to work with full water bottle and now mine is pretty much empty, so I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. And then she also likes to work with a crunchy snack. So I'm gonna get a crunchy snack and then I think I'm gonna switch over to editing through fragments. about these sweet potato chips Trader Joe's. I don't know what I expected but I think I just expected there to be more flavor. So I know not, I don't have the dual monitors like Kate has. I do have the raised up thing and the the book down here so it feels a little like dual monitors right now. I'm editing here and then transferring up to there. I finished the first section. It's all been a lot of like small revisions like simple things but I think it's gonna make it flow a lot nicer. I'm really glad I'm going through and doing this now <laughs> so that the book will be ready. I'm going to get some lunch now because it is 
12.38 and that is way later than I normally eat lunch. Like, Kate, hey, what are you doing to me? I know she doesn't eat until later, but now is when I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make something. I have decided on some tuna rice with avocado and I've got my packet of nori. And I think I'm gonna watch, probably watch Claire make those gourmet M&Ms while I'm eating and then I'll get back into working on my book. I've got a migraine coming on. I took medication that I got from the doctor. So hopefully it goes away soon, but like I can feel it. It has been almost a month to the day since my last migraine. And so, yeah, almost like exactly to the day. Huh. Well, so I'm gonna probably watch the gourmet M&M episode while I wait for the medicine to kick in. And then once it does, I'll go back to revising. Maybe, maybe we'll sit out on the porch for a little bit to work on that. That might be nice. One of these days I'm going to make a video on how I revise poetry. There are a few poems in here that really did need some work and I'm glad that I'm going over this now before I re-release. There are a few poems that needed just a hair of tweaking. Some of them, there's something stupid going on. For example, some weird commas or things. So far there's been no spelling mistakes, I was very careful with that with the first one, but there are a few places where like the line breaks I just feel like need to be different, so I'm just making little notes to myself in red of things that I could change, or like, so every now and then there's an extraneous word where like it's totally fine for the word to be there, but the poem is stronger overall if I just chuck it. So I have been doing that, a few of the poems are getting a lot of revision. Here's one. Measuring kindness and sugar. Now that I go over it, there are a few places where a little bit of a change is going to make this a lot stronger. And I think I might cut out the very last two lines because I feel like adding just a little bit to that last paragraph, I might not need those last two lines. They were always kind of wishy-washy to me. It didn't have like the punch I wanted it to have. So I think cutting those out is going to be a lot better. I'm almost done with this. I'm on the second to last section. Oh, there's only a couple of poems until the last section. I already have a poem in mind that I'm going to add in. It's one of my favorites that just keeps not getting picked up in my journals. I've loved it since I wrote it and nobody else seems to want it. So it's going to go ahead and go into fragments. And so hopefully people will love it in there. I've just let myself lose my place. Luckily, I'm writing in this, so it's really easy to find myself again. Finish that, finish that, I'm on this one. Okay, let's keep going. Hey you, what are you doing? I don't know if anyone's wanted to know. Mulan's out here too. She's just snoozing. Oh, I know, it's all about you, huh, Pie? All about Pie. Zuko's down here too. He's just chilling. Mulan's just chilling. I am feeling much better now, thank you for asking. And actually, Mulan has been eating really well today. Just a little bit each time, but like consistently throughout the day she's been eating. So it's like, finally, I'm so glad I took the extra time off of work. Take care of her, cause she's doing a lot better. And that's helping me get a lot done, cause I am done red penning fragments. 
I know which poems I'm going to add in and where, and there are a bunch of revisions I'm going to make, so I'm going to put those all into the computer file, work on the formatting, I'm going to change the font too, make it something prettier, and then I wanted to write another vlog post, not vlog, <laughs> blog post, so I'm going to do that, and then back to the short stories, I'm trying to keep with the jumping around method that Kate uses. Another thing I have seen her do is get some kind of a tea or a juice in the afternoon and I have a raspberry lemonade. So now that it's afternoon, well it's been afternoon for a little bit, but I've been working on the book so. So far revisions are great. I feel so much more confident. There were a few poems where I think even when I put them in, I was like, this isn't going to be anyone's favorite. But going back through, like, I feel confident now. Like, I feel like every poem is my favorite. And the few that I was just, like, not having a good feeling about, it was a simple change. And it just needed, like, the two years to figure out the change, apparently. Still working on that. Still good. I feel like now I've gotten into my, like, normal focus. So once I finish this, we're going to bounce around on some projects again. Because... Yeah, I'm just like in a groove with this. I'm feeling really excited. Even though the medication kicked in just fine, I'm still feeling like a little out of it. The migraine coming on. So I think I'm done with the revisions for the poetry book right now. It's about as much as I can do. I did all the changes that I wrote in the red pen and then just a little bit of the moving stuff around formatting. I just don't have the energy for. I'm not really feeling a blog post. I was trying to think up like how many hours I actually spent writing. I think I wrote from like 8 to 8 folder and then from about 9 and then I did about 2 hours on this I think I'm right at the cusp of doing about 5 hours of writing so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time and do some author tube type stuff I posted some Instagram pictures and things like that but I think I wanna watch a little bit of YouTube and then probably get back into writing again. It seems like Kate Kavanaugh really spaces her day kind of according to what needs to get done, how she's doing, and she usually does a write-in or some kind of writing in the evening also. So I think I'm going to kind of do what I want until dinner time and then have dinner and see if there's a write-in going on tonight. Maybe not, it's a Thursday. But if there is, I will jump on that. And if not, then I will try and do another hour of writing this evening. I'm gonna watch some author tube videos right now. I don't know why I had to get a migraine of all things, just like today. I'm trying to do something here, brain, but I should know. It's like exact month. And I'm also having like a terrible skin day. It's probably partly cold. Damn. Actually, maybe his car's broken. Anyway. It literally just took that guy 10 minutes to finish revving his engine. Like, oh my god, oh my god. I was pretty much ready to go commit a murder. As I was saying, I'm having a terrible skin day and it might be because of the medicine I'm on right now. It could be because I wasn't supposed to go out in the sun and I did it anyway. But it looks awful, but Kate Kavanaugh doesn't wear any makeup in her videos. So I wasn't going to be bothered to put on any makeup. So you can see how much makeup I normally wear on camera pretty clearly. But today's about writing, so. People in front of me and working that keeps me productive. I'm far less productive in a free sitting chair, like a couch or Same. a lounge chair. So The guy revving his engine is back. I just want to know that you're all behind me in case I murder him. Oh, now he quieted down. <laughs> I'll bet he's back again in a minute. It just keeps happening. Like, is he driving around a motorcycle? Like, what's he doing? It's the most annoying sound in the world. Okay, so it is now 7.22. I had some dinner. I Skyped my husband. I am going to try and get another hour of writing done. I'm gonna sit over here with Pi to do a bit of a wrap up. Oh, wait. There's a zoos. Oh, so cute. All right, 
set us up here. Ooh, that is crooked as heck. There we go. Okay. So, bit of a wrap up. Today I spent writing like Kate Kavanaugh. That was really fun. The bouncing around between different projects really worked for me today. I got a lot of things done that I've been putting off doing. I got done with a fanfic that I just had never edited. Got that finished and posted and I have two comments on it now which is pretty exciting for just one day of posting it. Like I haven't posted any fanfic in like probably four years and already I got two and I realized it's in a really popular fandom. It was a really short fic but I digress. It had like 200 hits already by the time I looked at it which was a couple hours ago so pretty pretty happy <laughs> worked on a couple of short stories i didn't get as much actual writing done as i meant to but i did get a blog post written and up and ready i didn't get two done which was my intention but i spent a long time working on the edits of fragments and making sure that that is ready and i'm most of the way done i want to go do another pass i think i want to add in another poem and maybe move one around. I definitely wouldn't have gotten this much done if I was just left to my own devices. Like, I wouldn't have left the house if it weren't for Kate and her schedule that she goes out and exercises in the morning and I thought I should go for a walk and so I did. And I'm really glad I did. I had a lovely time. It was, I got an incredible shot of Mount Rainier. I just needed the fresh air, I feel like. I used to go for walks quite a bit and I just, I haven't, I haven't been getting any exercise in the past couple months. I've just I've been focused on Mulan. Today she was interested in eating, which is really good. And so I felt like that was a relief and kind of having the structure where I couldn't just, you know, sit on the couch and try and scroll through Netflix and find something that I didn't necessarily really want to watch. I had to kind of buckle down and focus in on writing, even though I'm not focused on just one project, which is usually what I do. Like this was a great experiment and I see why she enjoys doing all these kinds of videos because honestly, I had a great time with it. Kate, if you're watching, I hope you don't mind me kind of stealing your idea and then stealing your writing routine. Just all kinds of theft happening here for me. Sorry. <laughs> Lock your doors. No. <laughs> yeah, it was just a really fun experiment. I tried to do also, she does really cool like different camera angles. My writing area is not as absolutely beautiful as hers. I don't have the same like beautiful natural lighting kind of a little closet here it's kind of dark and the room is an absolute mess i haven't been cleaning and straightening things up before like yesterday when i tried to clean up a little bit so i could make this video like my desk used to just be covered in crap and i shoved the crap to the sides and hope you don't see it in the videos <laughs> but anyway i tried to do a little bit of her different angles and we'll see how I do with editing it together. Kate usually goes to bed between 9 and 10. I woke up about an hour later than her so I'll probably go to bed closer to 11. That seems fair, right? Just move everything over an hour. I hope you guys enjoyed this as kind of an homage. I can't wait to see who she does next and I hope she keeps doing these because I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm sure she will because she's getting hella views on her videos for the ones that she does but I hope she keeps going because it's really fun. It's fun to see what famous writer like popular well-known very very famous writers what their routine is. That's all for today. Good luck to all of us and does she have a sign out? Oh my gosh I like just watched one of her videos too. I guess not. Okay uh, bye! <laughs>